Hi, my name's Nancy with Factory Direct Crafts, and today we're going to be making a coffee bean candle. You're going to need some white wax, some coffee fragrance, the scent, a, an eye, eyedropper to put that in with, um, a, uh, wa a wax wick, and a little jar or some kind of container that you'd like to see through so that you can see the coffee beans, and some whole coffee beans. Let's get going. All right, the first step is to melt your wax. And I've already got mine done. Remember, you do this over a double boiler or a pan on low heat. And you don't leave it. You watch it and make sure it's a safe thing. And remember, it gets really hot. So I want you to be really careful. So I've got mine melted here. So I'm going to put my wick right in here and dump in the coffee beans that are going to be on the bottom like that and then I'm gonna very carefully let me get that centered good okay now I'm gonna very carefully pour this hot wax in here just like that and I'm not gonna fill it all the way fill it like halfway okay now I'm gonna let that get a little hard to hold those coffee beans down and while that's doing that, I'm going to put in a few drops of this coffee scent. Okay, there, I should do it. Okay. Now, I'm going to let that get a little hard, like you can see this one. I don't know if it's hard enough yet or not. Uh, once it starts getting a little hard, you can move your coffee beans around a little bit. Because... I don't know. I don't like to have them right next to the wick, just in case. Okay, but you can move them around and adjust them however you want for the look of the candle. Okay. Um, okay, this is set a few minutes and it's gotten that hard enough so that it'll hold those coffee beans down. And maybe I'll put a few more right in here in the center. Okay handle around the outside edges is where I kind of want them. We'll see how this works. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to pour some more wax in there. There we go. And then I'm going to add some more coffee beans to the top too. And by doing the layers like that, then you're going to get the coffee beans all throughout candle then. Okay, just sprinkle them around in there. And then I'm going to use this little skewer, kind of move them around, get them a little bit away from that wick so when your candle burns down you don't have a flame right at the coffee bean. And there you go. Now what I did on this finished one here, I added a little jute to it to dress it up a little bit. But you can do however you want to do with that. But here's your candle. All that's left is to let it harden and trim your wick however long you like it. Enjoy!